Hi, great photography is something amazing. And once you have your camera and your lens and all your gear, the most important thing is of course to find birds. In this video, I will show you a few tips that I use to find birds and that have personally worked very good for me. And it maybe can help you to find birds too. So let's go. The first tip, of course, is to knowing that in the breeding seasons of the birds, that is mainly at the ending of the winter and starting the spring, they are all building his nests. And of course, if you hide between the bushes, you just need to wait and you can find a lot of birds building his nests. And you won't believe it is very amazing how close they came to you if you are using some camo dress. So the first tip is in the breeding season, they are all worried about the building his nests. So in the woods and all this kind of environment, you can find a lot of birds. So that can sound strange, but in places, where there was a big fire, birds came back. So if you see a place where the wood used to be in fire, you know that there will be birds. They usually came back to colonize this place again and try to look for shelter. So don't be afraid to go to a place where a big fire happened. Other very important point is, in this open lands, when the farmer works the air with his tractor, there will be a lot of big birds over him. That's because every time the tractor moves the air, a lot of mice will come out or other animals. And all these red melans and other eagles will search around the tractor to get some of these mice. So don't lose the opportunity to watch when a farmer is working the air. The next tip is, don't waste your time walking to different places or walking long ways to find birds. Use one of these binoculars and seek for birds. And once you find a place where you can get there is very active in birds, then you walk slowly to this place. But always carry with you some binoculars. They will help you a lot to see the birds. Birds are very small. So at 10, 20 meters, maybe you can't see them. So a binocular is a key factor to seek for birds. And of course, this is a win-win tip. I'm sure you already know it. Birds are like all animals. They need food and of course they need water. So just look for any water source a lake, a river, no matter how big, no matter how small it can be, I'm sure you can find birds in there. This is a little, a very little lagoon, and they are full of ducks and amazing birds. You can always take good photos. So just look for any water source. You will find birds. So this is a cool tip. Every time you find these grazing areas where farmers left his cows and horses to feed, you can find big birds, mainly in the season of the breeding because they are looking for food for his chicks. You can mainly find eagles or vultures. At this time, there are no animals here. So of course there are already <laughs> no big birds. But mainly, when there, this place is full of crows, you can find vultures and big eagles. Other very important point is to consider the hour of the day. In the mornings, the birds are much more active than in the other hour of the day. And I mean really early in the morning, before the sun rises, about five, six o'clock in the morning, is the best time and you can find birds everywhere.
The next point is to identify which spaces are of birds are next where you are. In my case, I use a very good app. The app is bird.net. Birdnet is the name of the app. There you can scan the sound of the birds and the app will tell you what bird it is. So you can know if there are more birds in the area, where the birds will go in the morning, in the afternoon. It's always good to know what bird is the sound I'm hearing at this moment. Something very important. Bird photography doesn't start in the field. It is very important the day before to plan where you want to go. In my case, I use, for example, the webpage bird.org and search in which part will be the birds or what kind of birds will be there. Uh, I guess it's not birds.org, it's ebird.org. And the last tip, if you're not apt to walk too much or if you don't have a long lens and you want to use your stock lens, the best, part, the best place to find birds is in the park next to your home. The birds of parks are birds used to see people. People feed these birds and they are not so shy and you have great chances to take good pictures of birds in these parks. And so, I hope all these tips will help you to find birds. Now go out and take your best pictures. I know you can. See you in the next video. Bye bye.